first thing you want to do is go into the menu on your Night Owl, click on Devices. Under Devices, you will see that there is this hard drive is actually full and it has zero free space, but there's a total of 931 gigabytes of uh, space to record on. The next thing we will need to do is to unpower and remove all the cables. Then remove the eight screws from the bottom that hold the night owl together. This trim piece just simply lifts off once you get all the screws out. We'll just flip it over and the top should just lift right off. Now be careful here because there's a cable that connects the, the to the lid. Just squeeze the sides and lift up on the cable and roll the grease. The original hard drive is a Toshiba hard drive. Uh, this is a three and a half inch uh, uh, size uh, with one terabyte of storage, SATA 6, 7200 RPM spindle speed, and 32 megabytes of cache. The new replacement hard drive is a Seagate three and a half inch Barracuda hard drive. Capacity is, or size, is two terabytes. It's also a SATA 6. It also has a 7200 RPM speed. Five volt supply is slightly higher by about 30%. The 12 volt supply is a little bit lower on the current demands. The cache is larger at 256 megabytes. The bigger cache will provide smoother read write operations. Moving from a one terabyte to a two terabyte hard drive will double our total recording time. This is a nice bonus to have. Okay, it's time to remove the hard drive. What you want to do is put your hand on the hard drive to support it as you remove the screws out of the back of the DVR. There are four screws that hold it in place. You want to use both hands when you flip it back. Now you can slide the hard drive away from the circuit board and it will unplug. Now we can install our new hard drive being careful to line up the connector. And it should just slide right in. Flip it over remembering to support the hard drive with your hand. Now we can reinstall the four screws that originally held the old hard drive back in. Remember to continuously support the hard drive's weight with your hand while you're doing this. Now we can reinstall the lid. Be sure and remember to install the cable back into the circuit board here. It is keyed and it goes in only one way. So squeezing the sides here will make it go in easy. Now when you're placing the lid back on, you will need to 
get the back to pop in. So what you need to do is you gotta press it in the back so that it will fully go down. See right here, I'm doing it right now. Once you get the back in, you can replace the trim and then install the eight screws into the bottom. Once we got everything all wired up and plugged back in, and the system powered up, we get a screen here. There's a disk warning message saying unformat it. So we go down to the menu here, click on the button, and log into the system here. And click on devices. You'll notice here that the, the hard drive is listed as being unfor, uh, unformatted. So, and also the amount of storage space has doubled. So what we will need to do is select the hard drive here and click format. Enter our password. Yeah, we want to really do this. Now it's going to go through the formatting process. It's going to go pretty fast here until you get up to about 90%. Then it just kind of like hangs there for a while. Don't worry, it's still working. It just, this part just takes longer for it to do. What it's doing is creating two partitions on the hard drive. A small one that's about 6 megabytes and the larger one um, for storing the video data. Okay, we'll just uh, click OK here. We can tell that we were successful here because now we got a whole bunch of uh, uh, open memory for, uh, for the video and uh, it says that we're OK here. Now you can just uh, click on the cancel button to exit out.